Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. I wanted to just share with you some happy mail that I've received. Yay! We never receive happy mail. Um, it's, you know, it's it's hard for me to get it living in, in China. Um, I totally get it and um, it's um, it's nice when I do get some. So I've had, a, I've had the odd bit over the last few years. Um, but this is just absolutely blown me away. So a lovely lady called Sandy contacted me and very very nice said you know she really enjoys my tutorials and I had recently expressed how much I loved Whitaker's chocolate and Rosie's studio paper crafts which are both from New Zealand Sandy's from New Zealand and said that she would like to send me some things so would I mind sharing my address so of course I said yes fingers crossed that it all got here okay it has taken a little bit of time <laughs> but it has arrived and wow, I can't believe it. So I have opened it, I've had a little sneak peek and I've read the lovely message that Sandy has sent me. So I'm just gonna take this little bit off of camera there. I don't think that will give you any information. And I just, in fact, let me push this to one side. There we go, and then I can start pulling everything out. So Sandy's, I have already read this and I'm not gonna read everything out, um, but just kind of in a nutshell um, Sandy has been crafting for only little just little over a year she said and she goes to a weekly scrapbook um, a card class and scrapbook class and she has <laughs> she's already won um, I think how many times did you say um, since she started um, contest put up a card every week everyone votes and she's won four times since it started in 10 weeks so that's amazing considering only been crafting for a year and um, some of the things that I've made and she's done the cards they have won and it was the flower bouquet that won her recently so that was brilliant um, she's just added a few of the projects that she's made there and things that have I've inspired her and it was just some lovely, lovely words um, that she's wrote there. So I was really, really touched by that. So thank you so much, Sandy. Um, so look at all these goodies. I can believe it. So this is the Rosie Studio, um, uh, some of the collection. This is their newest one, actually, which they've just um, started releasing. So super pleased to get that. Um, so there's a mix of stuff from Sandy's own craft stash um, and bits and pieces that she sent me. So I've got more Rosie Studios. These are the puffy stickers with all the phrases. So again, love them. These are just more phrases from one of the collections. So I can't get enough of those bits. Butterflies, you all know I love butterflies. These I used on a scrapbook layout. So now I've used them. So now I've got them again. Perfect, absolutely love that. Um, these are lovely, these are a mix of stickers and then it's those words again and then more stickers. Again I'm sharing um, my scrapbook layouts with you so I'll be using these. Um, this one here is more of the, these are epoxy stickers, these are lovely, they've got that really nice, I mean it's got the shine there. Let me take this out just so you can see just how lovely these are. Can you see the um, all the shine on them there? They're lovely, really really love these. So, oh, it's so good. Now when I see other people when they open their happy mail, this is like, oh, it's lovely. Um, then I have, what's this one here? Washi tape, Scotch washi tape. Oh, it's grass, look at that. So let me get my camera, see I'm doing this in the evening now. It's all got grass trim. So that's gonna look really nice when I do those scenes on my cards. That's lovely, I really like that one. Thank you. And this one here, actually, if I show you in detail, so that's got like a silver fleck detail, and this is the swans, and that's part of this new collection here. It's, it's very um, kind of, uh, I guess, around like swans and ballerinas and stuff like that. It's really, really lovely. Okay, so this I recognise. So this is the pocket letter that I shared um, a few, quite a few, um, uh, maybe a month ago now or so. Um, I'll share any links to the tutorials below. But I done these pocket letters and I loved doing this. So this is one that Sandy's made. So let's take this off. Okay, this has travelled a long way. So this has come from New Zealand to China. So <laughs> if we have, it's got here in one piece. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, we've got one there that's come off. I'll find where that goes in a minute. So let's have a look. Let's start up here first of all. So I've got some little, these look like chipboard letters. And I'm gonna guess that this is gonna spell out 
my name. Oh, I can feel the other one. There we go. Yeah. Oh, they're cute. I love these. So I've got there. So I've got three, three chipboard letters, and they're all shiny. You can see there with my name on. Love them. I'm going to put that somewhere in my craft room, actually, and keep it as it is, like that. I like that. So that's that one, little Velcro one. This one here is, oh, that's a great idea. So this is just a really long um, ribbon. But what Sandy's done is pop double-sided tape all on the back of it there. And that's a really nice way to do it. Actually, I didn't do that when I done the tutorial. I didn't put the ribbon like this, but I really like that way of gifting it. And it just sits there really nicely. That's great. And then we've got this other little pocket here. In this one we have some little embellishments. We've got butterflies, flowers, got some little cards there, like some little frames, and they're all on foam as well. So they're going to be great just to add into my cards. It's really cute. And then here we've got, I love these. These look like stamps. They're like puffy stamps. And I love the stamps. Got handmade with love there. There's one, I think, down here. Kia Aura from New Zealand. Really nice, I love these. And I think these are from the same set that I used because I recognise these hearts and this flower, which is from an American craft set. So I've got here three, they're just um, like a stamp, um, a letter stamp effect. I really like them. And they're, again, they're all on foam, so they're going to look really nice. Thank you. Love them, love them. Then here I've got some tea. And in Sandy's letter, she does talk about um, having a, again, I don't want to show the whole letter here, but um, so where she lives is where most of the kiwi fruit is grown. So this here says here it's kiwi fruit tea, organic tea, Kerry Kerry. I can't wait to have it. I do love drinking tea and especially flavoured teas. So this is one I've never tried before, so I'm going to enjoy that. So thank you very much. I've got lots there. Blended in New Zealand, little sticker there. I love the little tea cup sticker there as well. Really nice. And then here I've got a little tag, which is on some double-sided um, tape. So again, all can be used and reused. Maybe that's come from there, possibly. I'll pop that one all together. Um, so crafty, I love these. These again, these are like a chipboard sticker. They're really nice. Handmade, I think these are great DIY. Really like them. And then here, these are on wire. These are great. I've not seen this before. I think they were together, maybe. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's got its own hook. They're really nice. Really love them. And I'm actually working on my Christmas projects at the moment. So these I'm going to incorporate into that. But they are really solid, lovely gold Christmas trees. They're gorgeous. I'm definitely going to use those. That's those ones. And I love the gold. And it brings out the gold on all the papers. Lovely. I've got some glitter. Can never have enough glitter. It's a nice little sachet there of it. And then this here is a, this is something I've not seen this before. It's all um, wire. It's like a mesh, and that's a, wire, um, a metal um, uh, birthday cake. See it there. And again, it's all on some foam, so that can just be that can be, that look nice on a gift tag actually. So that's where I will use that. So that's really nice. And then here we've got some more. Seems like those gift tags, like that one there. Take this one out carefully. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, no, that goes there. There we go. It's the flower for the top of that stem. So I can just pop a little glue dot on that one. Again, they're all separate, just on the acetate there, so I can use them. But they're really, really lovely. Do you know, it's so nice receiving this pocket letter, because obviously I made them to give to people. And now I've got one back. And it's just, it is, it's lovely. It's lovely being that person at the receiving end. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandy. That is, I will cherish that. That will go on my shelf. I love it. Okay, I literally am blown away by how much Sandy has crammed into this package. So this is Bow Bunny. I've actually got some Bow Bunny Christmas stuff that I'm working on. It's really lovely quality stuff. So I'm super pleased to get this. And these are just lovely, big, almost like ephemera. Um, just different, like toppers and just see here there's just so many lovely they've got the stag's head there this is really look at that how unusual is that just to put on the top of a gift tag a gift bag gift box 
Oh, and these are gorgeous. Look at these beautiful lanterns. These will look really, oh, they, oh look, and the, um, yeah, they're like little pre die cuts. They will look so lovely as like a little tuck spot in a mini album. In fact, I think that's what I will use this for because it's all matching. How gorgeous are they? Just so many lovely, in fact, yeah, they are all die cuts. They've all got pieces that you can remove. There's so much in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, lovely, that is so, so nice. And just get the bigger one, look at that one there. That is just so pretty, that's gonna look so nice, even on the front of an album, a mini album, because I'm, I'm, you know, doing some bigger ones, that's gonna look really, really nice. Oh, thank you so much, I love this. Okay, let me keep that all together, because I don't wanna lose anything amongst all of this. So again, I just neatly pop that there. Okay, oh, so Sandy did say she was gonna send me some chocolate. This is a huge bowl <laughs> of Whitaker's um, rum and raisin. Wow, that is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh dear, I'm gonna be consuming a lot of chocolate. Okay, I've got this one here. This one I've not got. This is Rosie Studio Twig and Twine. Actually, I have nothing from the Twig and Twine collection. So this is, again, I love butterflies, but you can see there, they're all um, on some dimensions. So they've got their um, base and then the top piece and they are, they're gorgeous. Really, really love them. They actually go, the colors of them work well with this as well. So there we go, we can start using it together. Okay. So I've got two bits here. So I've got some lovely little adhesive um, diamantes there. And they're a nice color. They're like a teal, tealy green color there as well. So they're really pretty. I love them. And those really tiny ones. And then I've got this here. It's a little bit battered. <laughs> it's a bit squashed, but it, we've, we've got it. It's here nonetheless. Beautiful papers. I recognize these. These are the stamping up, um, stamping up papers, I think. So in here, I love these style boxes. They're really nice. And I imagine it was in perfect condition, Sandy, when you sent it to me. But I can appreciate still the work that's gone into this and I can see how lovely it is. So thank you. And I have some more chocolate. Caramelized cashew with Australian wattle, wattle seed. I've never even heard of that. So I'm gonna have to look that up. And I love cashew nuts, so that is gonna be a big hit. And this one here, Hawks Bay, Black Doris Plum and Roasted Almonds. Oh my God, again, that just sounds absolutely incredible. Mm -mm. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, let's pop that up there. And then we have, oh wow, 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 wow. So, <laughs> Life is better with you in it. Mixed up craft, sister scrap. Oh, that's so cute. So she's personalized this box. And I love this twine, the bow. That is so lovely. Oh, I'm really, really touched. <laughs> I've got a little tear in my eye. So let's, um, do we undo this? This one, no, let's take it out of the bottom here. And let's take that one off. There we go. So, what we, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> Wow, these are <laughs> so much chocolate. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Colombian mango with passion fruit, Indian cardamom with apricots, ginger and kiri kiri mandarin. I apologize if I'm saying some of this wrong. These are some things that I've never even heard of before. Oh my God, sea salt is probably one of my favorites in chocolate. Sea salt and caramel, caramel brittle with saffron. Wow. Nelson pear and manuka honey. That sounds absolutely incredible. <laughs> West Coast buttermilk, caramelized white chocolate with gingerbread biscuit. Oh my God, I've, I can't believe you even have these combinations in chocolate. We don't get anything like this. These are absolutely amazing. Caramelized pecans, waffle, and Canadian maple syrup. West Coast buttermilk, caramelized with <laughs> caramelized white chocolate. Oh my gosh. Wow, like seriously. Nobody has ever brought me this much chocolate before. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 bars of chocolate. 
So can you now all see why I'm completely overwhelmed with this Happy Mail? It is just absolutely incredible and so thoughtful because it's all things that I have talked about or mentioned in tutorials. So it has really a lot of thoughts gone into this and I am just so, so grateful. Really, really am. Okay, we're coming to the end now. I can see this I have not got. This is Rosie's Studio. It's the new collection, foil chipboard alphabet letters. Again, I love using these in my scrapbook layouts and they've got like a silver fleck running through them. They are really, really lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I'll take out these last few bits here. So I have got, oh, this is lovely. This is a A6 notebook. Oh, I love that print and that looks like it's, I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing some something, you know, uh, a New Zealand um, mask or, you know, something to do with New Zealand, I imagine. That's what I'm thinking there. Um, and I, I love it. It's really nice. Again, I can never have too many of these. I'm always forever putting one down somewhere and then forgetting where it is. So that's going to definitely be used. And then oh, I've got the paper packs. This is gorgeous. So this is the Rosie Studio again. You get lots of foiled papers with their packs, which I think is what draws me to it. I mean, look at that with the splats there. That's gorgeous. Wow, that one is absolutely beautiful. You see that one there? So this is what is gonna work perfectly. You see here these washi tapes and these um, letters here. And there was another part as well that I had. So yeah, I've already got some nice bits all matching, which is wonderful. Got another one there. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers. The bows, stripes. There's the ballerina. Even that wood effect, really nice. That parquet wood effect, really like that. And then it repeats itself again. Really nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to make another six by six um, storage box now. <laughs> and then this one is another Rosie's, Rosie's Studio collection. Again, don't have this one. And I've mainly got 12 by 12 packs, not the six by six. I tend to only buy 12 by 12 or six by six. I don't really get eight by eight because you can just cut them down. So these are so handy. And again, look at those gorgeous prints. Oh, that's lovely. It's all tiny little envelopes. Polka dots, music sheets, again there, really, really nice, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely, butterflies there with gold polka dots. Yeah, absolutely love it. You know how much I love all these kind of things, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, what a stash. <laughs> so much Happy Mail, so many wonderful bars of chocolate. I do not know where to begin. Wow, I cannot believe that. Thank you so much for this, Sandy. I am completely blown away. I'm so touched by your generosity and your kind words that you wrote in that message, in, in your letter was, was again, just so lovely. So thank you. I thought I would share some happy mail as everybody seems to do this on YouTube, so I'm sharing mine. So um, yeah, look out for tutorials. I will be using this stuff and um, yeah, thank you can't believe I've got this it's absolutely amazing so um, I will be back tomorrow with another tutorial and thank you again Sandy it's really 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 appreciated love you all bye bye